A patient today asked about MAOIs, or monoamine oxidase inhibitors. MAOIs are a class of antidepressants that have been utilized since the 1950s in psychiatry. Uh, they treat major, treat major depressive disorder and other depressive disorders and can be utilized for patients with anxiety and other psychiatric conditions. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors aren't used very frequently because they can cause a rather severe side effect called a hypertensive crisis. Uh, to understand this, you need to know a little bit about how MAOIs work. So examples of monoamines. So monoamines are compounds like serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, uh, and epinephrine um, that um, have one amino, uh, one amine group uh, on their chemical structure. A lot of these substances are neurotransmitters. So, you know, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine are some of your healthy neurotransmitters that um, many antidepressants increase the availability of, and that's how they, they work to decrease um, depression for certain individuals and to treat anxiety disorders. So monoamine um, inhibitors um, work by decreasing um, the ability um, for an individual to break down those monoamines. So um, the ability for the individual to oxidize or break down serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. But they also inhibit um, the individual's ability to break down other monoamines. One of those monoamines is called tyramine. And tyramine is a, um, is a chemical that or a compound um, that can uh, regulate someone's blood pressure. And we also, you think about epinephrine and norepinephrine, they can also play a role in someone's blood pressure. So you imagine if someone is eating certain foods or having certain um, drinks that are high in tyramine levels, which helps to regulate someone's blood pressure, and then you're on an antidepressant that decreases your ability to break down monoamines, then a person's blood pressure could become very dysregulated. And that's what can lead to a hypertensive crisis. Hypertensive crisis simply means a sudden spike in someone's blood pressure that can be very serious and it can actually be very deadly. So when individuals take monoamine oxidase inhibitors, they have to be on a certain diet. They have to stay on a certain diet that's low in tyramine. One of the things that's difficult about this for patients, and also one of the reasons why these medications aren't used very frequently, is because there's a long list of different foods and beverages that are high in tyramine. They include, but are certainly not limited to aged um, cheeses, cured meats, draft beer, certain types of other alcoholic beverages, um, pickled vegetables and, and substances, um, and others. And so when someone is on a uh, MAOI, they really need to be educated and then also keep information with them to make sure that they're not eating foods that are high in tyramine. With all that being said, if a patient has severe depression and if they fail trials of SSRIs and SNRIs and augmenting with maybe Wellbutrin or thyroid hormone or lithium or a second generation antipsychotic, and then they fail a tricyclic antidepressant or a couple of tricyclic antidepressants, and you're thinking about um, going to ECT or using TMS or ketamine, MAOIs may really be a great option to bring someone out of depression. And for some patients, um, they just end up requiring an MOI to get them out of a severe, severe depression. Some examples of MAOIs are MSAM or selegiline, um, Parnate or Tranylcypramine, Phenylzine or Nardil, uh, and there are several others. And, um, you know, in, in all honesty, I don't use these medications for patients very often because um, because how complicated that um, diet can be. But I do have some patients where they've, uh, I consider them to be relatively life-saving or they may have actually been life-saving um, for certain patients who had severe depressions um, and they weren't responding to other medications. Um, of note, MSAM, which is selegiline, it's an MAOI that comes in a patch form. And by being absorbed through the skin, you're bypassing the medication from going through first pass um, of someone's liver enzymes. And because of that, for most individuals at that lowest dose, they don't need to be on that low tyramine diet. And so sometimes if a patient's not responding to other psychiatric medications for their depression, we may utilize MSAM or selegiline, the transdermal patch at the lowest dose first, 
to see whether a very low dose of the MAOI can be effective for them and um, to do that in a way where we're not as concerned about them needing to be so strict with the low tyramine diet. Um, just like with any antidepressants, um, if an individual is taking an antidepressant and they have any suicidal thoughts, they need to make sure that they contact their medical professional immediately or get to an emergency room or crisis center or call 911 or have someone be with them to make sure that they stay safe. If you believe this video pertained to you in any way, please be sure to speak to a mental health professional directly um, and um, set up an appointment as these videos are meant to be informative only and not medical advice for anyone out there.